In this video, we are going to learn about ASA and AAS triangle congruence. Let's first just briefly review what it means for two triangles to be congruent. If you have two triangles, they are congruent if all three pairs of angles are congruent between the triangles, and also all three pairs of sides are congruent between the triangles. So if you want to show that two triangles are congruent, one way to do that is to just show all of this information. Show that all three pairs of angles are congruent and all three pairs of sides are congruent. That can be a lot of work, and so there are a few shortcuts to show that two triangles are congruent without having to show all of that information. And two of them that we're going to talk about here are ASA and AAS. So ASA stands for angle, side, angle. And what it means is if you have two pairs of angles that are congruent and the side in between them is also congruent, then the triangles will be congruent. So that's enough information to know that the triangles themselves have to be congruent. So let's look at an example of that. If we had these two triangles and it was marked that these angles were congruent and these angles were congruent and this side in between the two angles was 5, then we know that these two triangles are congruent by ASA, angle side angle, because they have two pairs of angles and the included side is congruent. So if we know that, once we know the two triangles are congruent, we know that all the other pieces are congruent as well. So all the other pairs of sides have to be congruent, and that third angle has to be congruent. The other shortcut is AAS. And AAS, as you might be able to guess, stands for angle, angle, side. So it also is about two angles and a side. It just means that the side is allowed to be in a different position as well. So if you have, similar to the pair of triangles we just looked at, two pairs of angles that are the same, but this time the side after them is congruent, then those triangles are also going to be congruent. So basically, as long as you have two pairs of angles that are congruent and at least one pair of sides, corresponding sides, that are congruent, then the triangles will be congruent. So it doesn't really matter where the third side is as long as it's corresponding. So you also could have a situation where you have two pairs of angles and then the side over there is congruent, that would also be congruent by angle, angle, side. You just think about it going around that way. Keep in mind that the main place that you will use these shortcuts is when you're doing two column proofs trying to prove that triangles are congruent. If you can show that two pairs of angles are congruent and one pair of sides is congruent, then you can use one of these two shortcuts to show that the two triangles must be congruent. 